Welcome back to our series on AI and machine learning. In this lesson, we'll explore the different types of machine learning and their unique characteristics. There are three primary types of machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Each type has distinct methods and applications, making them suitable for different kinds of problems. Let's start with supervised learning. In supervised learning, the algorithm learns from labeled data. This means that the data set used to train the model includes input-output pairs, where the output is the label. The model makes predictions based on this labeled data and adjusts itself to improve accuracy over time. For instance, consider email spam detection. In this scenario, the algorithm is trained on a data set of emails that are labeled as either spam or not spam. By learning from these examples, the algorithm can predict whether new incoming emails are spam or not. Another example is house price prediction, where the model is trained on historical data of house features and their corresponding prices. The algorithm learns the relationship between the features and the prices, allowing it to predict the price of a new house based on its features. Next, we have unsupervised learning. Unlike supervised learning, unsupervised learning deals with unlabeled data. The algorithm tries to find hidden patterns or intrinsic structures within the data without any explicit instructions on what to look for. This type of learning is often used for clustering and association tasks. One common application of unsupervised learning is customer segmentation. In this case, the algorithm analyzes customer data, such as purchase history and behavior, to group customers with similar characteristics. These groups, or segments, can then be targeted with personalized marketing strategies. The third type of machine learning is reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning, an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with an environment and receiving feedback in the form of rewards or penalties. This trial and error approach allows the agent to learn optimal behaviors over time. A famous example of reinforcement learning is AlphaGo, the AI developed by DeepMind that defeated the world champion in the ancient board game, Go. AlphaGo learned to play Go by playing millions of games against itself, receiving rewards for winning and penalties for losing, and continuously improving its strategy. Now let's highlight the practical differences and use cases of these types of machine learning. Supervised learning is highly effective when you have a clear idea of the output you want to predict and a substantial amount of labeled data to train the model. It's widely used in applications like medical diagnosis, where the model learns from labeled examples of diseases, or in financial forecasting, where historical data is used to predict future trends. Unsupervised learning, on the other hand, is useful when you need to explore the data and uncover hidden patterns without any preconceived labels. This is particularly beneficial in exploratory data analysis, market basket analysis, or when dealing with complex data sets where manual labeling is impractical or impossible. Reinforcement learning is ideal for situations where an agent must make a sequence of decisions to achieve a goal, especially in dynamic environments. It excels in applications like game playing, where the agent learns strategies through gameplay, or in robotics, where robots learn to interact with the physical world through trial and error. In conclusion, understanding the differences between supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning helps you choose the right approach for your specific problem. Each type of machine learning has its strengths and ideal use cases, making them powerful tools in the AI and ML toolkit. In our next lesson, we'll dive deeper into some key concepts in machine learning, such as algorithms, models, and the processes of training and testing. Stay tuned.